Hello everyone, welcome to AI Sciences. Today we are going to see how we can detect a language with the help of Python, right? So the two main libraries that we are going to use for data analysis are pandas and numpy and after that for the case of uh, you know uh, vectorization and train test split we are going to use sklearn right as you know at the that is a most famous library for machine learning right so first thing first let me import the directories so first directory is pandas so let's import pandas as pd and after that let's import numpy as np right so let's do them both and after that let's move on to skitlearn so of course if you do not have any of these installed you need to pip install them right here as well right so sklearn dot feature underscore extraction dot text right so what do you want to import from this we want to import count vectorizer okay so after that we want to import rent a split which is available in model selection so let's write from sklearn dot model underscore selection import train underscore test underscore split and last but not the least we are going to get the naive base algorithm so it is available in from sklearn dot naive n a i v e naive underscore base import multi nomial nb so let's write that and let's import all of these libraries and after that let's import the data set into our jupyter notebook as well right so data set is available in the same uh, folder that i am working in right so that's why i'll write pd dot read underscore csv and in this i'm going to write language detection so language lng uage language co space detection dot csv so let's run that and now let's print the data right so this is the data this is the text and we have multiple type of languages that are available in this data set okay so as you can see there is english and canada the, these are two languages are shown right and between them there are a lot and lot of other languages as well right so of course we can count uh, or see what are those languages for that what i need to do is i need to just check the count of this language column right so let's do that data and then i'll write language dot value underscore counts and let's see right so these are all the things that we have right so we have almost 1385 rows in english and 1000 rows more than 1000 in french and then we have spanish portuguese and all of these uh, you know values available here as well right so right now the next thing that we need to do is we need to make x and y for our you know machine learning model right and this text will be x and this language will be y right after that what we need to do is we need to transform uh, through count vectorizer uh, both of these right mostly x and then we will uh, perform the uh, uh, splitting and fitness score after that right so first thing first we'll write x is equal to 
n p dot array and in this i'm going to write data and uh, other than data i'm going to write text right in the same way i'm going to write y is equal to np dot array and in this i'm going to write data and in data i'm going to write language all right and after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, make the count vectorizer so let me write count and then vectorizer and after that i'm going to perform the fitting so x is equal to c v dot the name of the vectorizer is cv of course fit underscore transform and in that i am going to write x right and after that what i am going to do is i am going to just perform the train test split so for that let's write x train comma x test comma after that i am going to write y train comma y test right and later i am going to write is equal to train underscore test underscore split right and in this i am going to write x comma y comma test size right so let's say that the test size is 0 0.2 right so we are taking 80 percent as the uh, you know train data and 20 percent as the test data and after that i'm going to write random state is equal to 42 so there we go this is it and after that what we can do is we can make the model right so model is equal to multi nominal nb right so this is the uh, naive base model that we are using so let's run that and after that we can use that to perform the fitting so for that i'm going to write model dot fit x train comma y train and after doing that we can also check out the score of uh, this right we, that will help us see how much good our model is performing right so for that i'm going to write model dot score and in that i'm going to write x test comma y test so the score that we have is 0 0.928 which is a pretty decent score right so 98.2 percent is the accuracy if we are talking in that uh, sense right and after that uh, what we can do is we can try to predict something on the basis of this right so for example if uh, we have the text such as this right i'm just uh, mumbling here right i'm just taking this text and i'll put it as a text into this and we'll see what does the model predict right so again we can just write user in is equal to input and in this i'm going to write enter a text so text right and when that data is entered what i need to do is i need to enter that into the data right and i need to use cv dot transform of course and i need to get the user into this and to change this into an array right so to array right and after that what i need to do is it is like this after that what i need to do is i need to get the output so output will be just model dot prediction so model dot predict is the output right and we'll give it a data into it 
and after that I'm going to print the output here okay so let's run this and what if we put in this text and it is saying that it is Canada Canada or whatever I don't actually know what it means right so we can test this as well so let's run this again and when we put in this it is saying that it is English right so it is a very much good predictor that we have developed right so this is it this is uh, the video with regard to natural language processing and i hope that you like this video for more videos like this keep watching ai sciences